morning everybody it is uh, November 7th just in Swift leaving home in Swift it is rainy plus one degrees could be bad roads today anytime it's raining consistently around that zero degree mark freezing mark is uh, could make for some pretty treacherous roads by the way if you didn't figure that out by now because we're hauling grain fortunately where I live it's uh, pretty easy quick access uh, to get to with a semi and there's no restrictions so I can legally get there with my semi So yeah, we are in Swifter. I can't remember if I said that already, but... Oh, the car disappeared. <laughs> oh, man. So, we're going to see if we can't get uh, two loads in here today. I don't think we'll get three. If we were going to get three loads, because right now, at what time is it? I think it's right around 8.30 in the morning. Yes, 8.30. To get three loads in, we would ne we would have needed to be at the terminal at about, uh, I think they open at 7. So we would have had to be there by 7. And while well, we're just getting off to a bit of a late start here. Come on, old lady. Come on, old Betsy, let's go. crosswalk countdown where it counts down from like 15 seconds to like 14, 13, 12. That way you know exactly if you're going to make it or not. Otherwise, you're just driving slow and you're like, man, I hope I'm going to make it. And then it turns yellow and it catches you off guard.
it's been raining pretty much all night here in Swift. I don't know how much we've... Oh, you got to be kidding me. You guys can't make it out yet, but the crossings just went down. Well, now, now we're definitely, now we definitely should have took a different route. Oh, nuts. So this here is a main CP rail track. There's two main rail tracks here in uh, Saskatchewan, and the south is CP and the north is CN. So the north tracks up by the north farm is CN rail. Oh, nuts. But it's going at a pretty good pace, so. I guess I won't waste your guys' time here. Still going. We don't really like oil pipelines here in Canada. We don't think it's very environmentally friendly, so uh, we prefer to put it on rail cars and ship it by rail. That way when the rail cars come off and explode, it's, it's better for the environment. <laughs> oh man. A lot of oil cars. Oh, and then we just got this one void. <laughs> all right, I won't waste your time here. Finally, all right. Let's rock and roll this boat. right now this would be the route that we would take to get to this terminal and oh wow oh, oh good thing it's raining because I just covered my truck with a gigantic dirty puddle wash it off wash it off wash it off anyway this is the route that we would take when we're coming from the south so this is the truck route by the way this is a designated truck route even if there's houses on both sides of your street. Okay, well, I'll see you when we get there. Finally, there is our terminal. So this terminal that we're hauling to here uh, this morning, I haven't hauled here I actually haven't delivered grain here. I don't know if I've ever delivered grain here. But anyways, this is the Richardson Terminal here in Swift Current. The other loads that we've been hauling is to the Richardson Terminal in Carmichael, which is a little further west by like a half an hour or so. But they are, that's a brand new terminal that they built in Carmichael, which we will do videos of. And they are doing a little bit of 
electrical work, so there's no power at the terminal today. So we have switched terminals, still Richardson though, and we're all in here to Swift Current. Which is about a hundred mile run one way for us. But this is where we pick up our fertilizer. Uh, you guys might recognize these fertilizer bins here. Two guys walking across the yard there. So normally we get probed. I know it doesn't sound very good, but normally we get probed. I do not see a probe here at this terminal. It tells you how often I bring grain here. So I guess we must be going to do it the old fashioned way where they're just going to scoop underneath our grain trailers when we dump. And look at this guys, not even so much as a single truck in front of us. This never happens. This never happens. So we're just going to drive right on in here. up on the scale. All right. One good thing about it is I can open up my tarps and I'm not going to get my trailers wet. That's awesome. Now I got to go in here and sign some paperwork. And we're dumping. Dump my air. Lowers it down on the airbag. We'll just do one at a time, so we don't make a mess. Scooping it old-fashioned way. No probe, eh? You guys don't have a probe. No, no probe. Dusty. Yeah, our dust is so broken. <laughs> Wait, so then once he has the sample, like they'll do a grade on it, and then that way they pay me on what the grade is. If you're wondering why we're doing that. And uh, we're done the back trailer, so we gotta back up here to we get to our front. There's only one pit. Some terminals have two pits. One for each trailer when you drive it. This one does not. He's standing there waiting for me to get over the pit. And right there. Beauty. You hit. Guess we better go air up this one. Do not want to forget that. I'm going to tarp this trailer because it's out in the rain. I guess I need two hands for this. All right, he's happy with that then. We'll finish off. Then you can flip those things down. Oh, it's already done. Fill this trailer up with air. Roll that tarp and we're ready. Then we gotta pull back onto the scale so we can get our our uh, weight again, so that we actually know what we dumped off. All right, we're on. This truck is actually quite heavy. Weighs 20,250 kgs empty. Empty. All right, gotta go in and grab my, my receipt, my elevator receipt that I dumped off grain and I'm good to go. All right, we got our paper, guys. 
so our dockage is uh, 1%, which is good. That's pretty good in an S-series world back home. And, well, that's pretty good anywhere. Dockage on wheat, 1%. And our moisture is 11.9, so we're good and dry. And our protein, which you get paid on, uh, is 15.9. 15.9 protein, that's pretty good. So that guys, between the last video, or I don't know if I combined all this in one video with loading last night or not, but maybe I do it in two. All right, all three air, because I dumped my truck too, my dump, my air my truck when I dumped. That's all good, check. Tarps are closed, check. Gates are closed, check. Crank is put away, check. Got my elevator receipt, check. We are good to go. We're out of here. I really hope that this rain doesn't turn into freezing rain. It makes trucking not fun. All right, guys. I'll see you on the flip side. Adios.